Hey, I'm Angela Walters, and up to this point in our rulers class, we've talked a little bit about borders, a lot about backgrounds, and now we're going to switch it up and learn how to quilt motifs. Motifs are a self-contained design that look great within blocks or within bigger areas. And what we're going to do is use our Taj ruler to create an interesting motif. It just so happens this design works great within the size square of your quilt. It's almost like I thought that through. I'll show you how to use markings to make sure your motif is placed somewhat center and symmetrical. And we'll talk about how to use the outside and inside to create interesting motifs. Okay, well, get your Taj ruler, get your quilt, because I'm going to show you how to do this. When quilting motifs, having some good registration lines will ensure that your motif is centered within the block and symmetrical. My favorite way to mark registration lines is to use the designs with lines stencil. It's so quick and easy to mark out, and then I have the registrations I need to quilt this design. And this motif is going to be easy to quilt. Basically, I'm going to use the side of my ruler to quilt from the center out to the point, and then I'll reposition to come back down. It's going to give me the same shape, but it's going to be a little skinnier and not quite so wide. Starting with the needle in the center of the block, I'm going to position Taj so he's snug against the foot so that the point is about a quarter inch inside the top registration line. Holding it in place, I'm going to quilt along the side of Taj and stop as soon as I hit that reference line. Once I get to the corner, I'm going to reposition the ruler on this side, swinging it around so that it meets at the middle. As you come into the center, don't be afraid to reposition your ruler so that you end as close as you can to the center point. And that gives me that petal shape that's thinner than the actual ruler. Then I'm going to repeat, repositioning the ruler over here, quilting along it to the corner, and then doing the same thing again. This design is going to make you work from all sides of your foot. I wouldn't necessarily reposition the quilt if I were you. I just want you to be able to see what I'm doing on the camera. Because now I'm going to put it on the other side of my foot and bring it into that center again. And I'm going to repeat with the other two corners ending in the center of my block. As I come into the point, I'm going to stop when I hit that reference line and I'm going to reposition Taj to the other side of the point. Doing this gives my design a nice pointed look instead of the rounded look I would get if I went around the top. Motifs tend to be more of a focal point, so take your time and reposition the ruler if necessary. To keep as much control as possible, reposition your hands as you make your way around the curve. You don't have to hold it the same way through the whole design. And I had the first part of my motif, the four big petals, going to each of the corners. But I think I want to add a little bit more quilting, so I'm going to use the inside of Taj to quilt little petals that go in between the bigger ones. Positioning the ruler there and then using the registration line to line up with my marked line, that means my petal shape is going to be centered exactly where I want it. Then I'm going to quilt along the inside of the ruler, quilting that leaf shape, coming back to the center. And then once I'm in the center, I can reposition my ruler, again lining up that reference line to make sure that it's exactly where it needs to be, and then repeat. As I'm quilting along the ruler, I'm pressing down and using it almost like a handle to move the whole quilt. This is where the grip on the back of the ruler really comes in handy. And I continue until I've quilted a smaller petal in between each of the bigger ones. Alright, let's check it out. And I think that's one lovely motif. I'm using the purple thread so that you can really see the design as I'm quilting it. But if you bought the coordinating thread collection, use the blue or the light gray for this area. Well now that we've seen how to quilt this on a sewing machine, let's talk about how to quilt it on the long arm. When quilting the motifs on a long arm, I usually mark my reference lines right before I quilt the design. Instead of starting at the center of the motif, you could start from one of the corners. Position the point of the ruler so that it's just inside of the foot and rotate it so that you're about a quarter of an inch away from the center of the design. Hold the ruler in place and quilt along the side of the ruler stopping at the center. Once I reposition it to reach the next corner, you're going to notice that I'm working from the other side of the foot. That's the trickiest part about quilting on a long arm. You can't change the orientation of the quilt, so you have to get comfortable working from all sides of the foot. And as I'm working my way around, going to the outer corners and back to the center, I'm taking time to reposition the ruler 
and making sure that I'm gonna end as close to the center as possible. There's gonna be a lot more thread there than the rest of the design. It's really gonna draw your eye to that area. So make sure you use a matching thread color so that it doesn't overwhelm the whole quilt. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. There's a couple sides that can be a little tricky because your hand will have to be behind your needle. So what I'm gonna do is quilt until I can't quilt anymore because my hand is in the way. And I'm gonna reposition my hand to the other side, being very careful, trying not to shift the ruler and trying not to hurt myself. And just like I did on the sewing machine, I'm gonna work my way around quilting all four corners, taking my time to reposition the ruler and moving my hands when necessary. And now I have the first part of my motif finished. But we know I love quilting things to death, so I'm gonna work from the inside of the Taj ruler to quilt little petals just like I did on the sewing machine. Unfortunately, that means I need to break thread and start a new line of quilting, but sometimes the design is worth the effort. I'm gonna use the registration marks to make sure my petal is in between the two bigger shapes. Pressing down on the ruler, I'm gonna start quilting along the inside. Coming back to the center, repositioning the ruler, and quilting until I have four additional petals to my motif. Now I love how these lines are gonna overlap each other. It helps hide any mistakes that you might make when you're quilting. Or, well, not that you would make any mistakes. Mistakes that I might make when I'm quilting. Once finished, you can brush off your registration lines or use water to remove them. And this is just one example of a motif that you can quilt using the Taj ruler. Once you feel comfortable with working from all sides of the foot, you can experiment with other orientations and other designs using the inside and the outside. All right, so it is a little trickier to consider where you're gonna place your hand when quilting on those long arms, but I promise it's not that difficult. You'll get used to it pretty quick. So go ahead and quilt that motif on your quilt in two of the blocks. And of course, in the description box below, I have a link to a downloadable PDF that will show you where to place it on your quilt, just in case you want to make it look exactly like mine. Now we're going to stick with the motifs for just a little bit longer. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to use Chevy to create an interesting motif. And I think this one is fun and completely different than anything you might have seen. Be sure to let me know if you have any questions by leaving them in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next lesson.